Hello, it is Tuesday, September 15th, 2021, and this is my morning entry. Okay, yesterday's goal. So yesterday I wrote first, first drafts of both my Green Grocery Story and my AI Flash Fiction. I my Writing my AI Flash Fiction was a stretch goal for the week, so I was excited to get it done with. In total, it was about 3,200 words, um, so these were very rough drafts. That is a lot of words to write in a day. Um, Right, so very rough draft. Um, I also received a new critique of my conflagration story, which brings me to my lesson learned for the day. So lesson learned. I often compare writing to clock making. It's this complex machine made from various parts that tells universal truths to people, right? What time is it? Or what is love? Or, you know, what is, what, how do we become better people, right? That's what stories do. So like a clock, a story can be obviously wrong, despite the reason not being clear. Case in point, a few reviewers of my story, The Conflagration, gave the feedback that they weren't really sure who my characters were. Um, and talking with them, you know, they would refer to different characters in different ways, and, um, and actually both of them eventually said, like, I was confused as to who was where. Um, they got confused on who the fat man, for example, was, or who had red hair. So to compare it to the clock, this would be like one of my clients calling and saying, I can't tell what time it is, right? You've given me this clock, but I, I can't tell what time it is. It could be lots of problems, and without much more description, I had to start guessing. At first, I thought it might be because of a lack of physical descriptions, which was part of it, since with one character, Wyatt, I don't think my original draft had one physical description of him at all. So that was absolutely a part. But the whole story, as I found out through a recent critique, or at least a much bigger part of the whole story, was something much more fundamental. Paragraphing. I've always known the one idea, one paragraph rule, but I hadn't quite yet made the connection that this applies to characters as well. The new rule being one paragraph, one person. As soon as it was pointed out, of course, my brain went, oh my god! <laughs> I mean, it's pretty basic, right? I even pulled a couple books and was looking and was just like, oh my god, right? Like. Uh. So to bring back the clock analogy, I basically had realized or it had been pointed out to me that I built a nice functional clock, but I never put numbers on it, <laughs> which is embarrassing, very embarrassing, but also incredibly helpful because as embarrassing as it would be to call a client back and say, oh my god, I forgot to put numbers on your clock, that's a lot easier than saying, oh my god, I forgot to put half the years in, right? So. What is my lesson learned? My lesson learned is that sometimes the most embarrassing mistakes are also often the easiest to fix. They may not be the last mistake you have to fix, but at least they're not the hardest or most complex. Yeah, that's what that was my lesson for today. What's my focus? Today is an editing day. So I'm going to continue making those edits of the conflagration so I can update my postings as well as edit the green grocer and AI stories. My concrete goals are to edit up to Act 2 of the conflagration, edit the Green Grocer for POV and paragraphs, and edit the AI story for POV, focus, and paragraphs. So that's what I want to do today. Anything I don't get done today, I will follow up tomorrow with those goals. All right, let's make it a great Tuesday. Happy Tuesday.